What's up guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Skylar, also known as Sky. Um, and I just do like makeup videos and today, as you read by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my filming setup and letting you guys know like how, where I made mistakes, what's unnecessary, what is like a necessity that you need, some good to haves and just stuff like that. So, if you would like to see my setup, then just keep watching. Alright guys, I decided to do this more vlog style um, just because I want to be able to show you guys everything um, and show you guys like how I set up everything. So from first, let me give you guys an overview. Also, my dog is laying underneath me like literally in between my chair. Like she's just straight chilling. And she's dirty because she had... Um, our, our plumbing got redone so there's like orange dirt in the back of our yard and that's why she has orange all over her so Good girl Cardi. Let me give you guys an overview really quick of how everything looks So ignore that mess right there. That's where I just like throw things like I have pens and a notebook and stuff like that Okay, let's start with my backdrop. So I have a backdrop stand it's the Julia studio one um, I will have like a little picture of the screenshot from Amazon on here and I will also link it down below I got pretty much everything that I have off of Amazon as far as backdrops go I usually just get the backdrops from Joann's or just any fabric store and I get two yards two yards is like the perfect size for the backdrop like for it to cover a good like surface area for behind that way i can have my camera pretty far away and it'll still like cover everything the clamps at the top there's three of them and they came with the backdrop stand um it also came with a bag and if you want you can go to home depot and get extra ones so that way you can clamp the sides i actually highly recommend it i don't have any yet but I figured out a way to tie it up, kind of like wrapping it around. That way it stays super tight because you want your backdrop to be extremely tight. And you can get pretty much any backdrop you want. I have a few extras back here. I have a brown one and I also have a black one. And I just hang them on here so they're easy to change out. As far as my desk, I just got a cheap little desk from Walmart, I believe. I think it was like 40 bucks. It's really inexpensive. Um, you can use pretty much anything if you even want a desk. Also, this video is like for like sit down videos and stuff like that so this is just the overview of everything i have my lights over here my ring light my monitor my desk my chair and my backdrop so let me tell you guys about my lights so i have these soft lights right here there's three of them the one in the middle from the back as you can see it goes up a little bit higher and you can kind of adjust it so that way it can like tilt like that um, all of these are super adjustable I really really like these but personally if you're just getting started it's not really worth getting the big soft lights because I paid I think it was like hundred and forty dollars for it and they're really good I feel like they just don't give enough light off on their own I feel like they still need like an extra little like like my ring light like my ring light makes it perfect I like to have these around on the sides of me but I did hear that you can get um, like foam insulation like boards from Home Depot I actually learned that from Desi Perkins um, in her filming setup video or whatever so you can get that and then it basically you put them both on the side of you and it's like you're in a little cubicle is how she described it and it just bounces light off so it's gonna the light from your ring light coming in is it's gonna bounce off the side so that way it's gonna fill in those shadows but since I don't have the insulation uh, the foam insulation and I already have these lights I just went ahead and put them up anyways and like I said I got those off of Amazon as well next I have my ring light my ring light is my absolute favorite as far as um, lighting goes because it's it's portable and it's like it's big enough and it gives off enough light to where you don't need any other lights you can also adjust it on the bottom there's a little switch and you can make it brighter or you can dim it down and it makes it very very easy to use I usually keep it on the lowest setting just because I don't want to be too intense and too bright over here I have my monitor so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my camera and show you guys what it looks like. So I just get an HDMI cord. I had to go buy a little micro HDMI cord and this plugs into my camera and the other end of it is a regular HDMI and it plugs into the monitor. Now, this is definitely not necessary. I use it for um, 
sit down videos for makeup because um, I can see myself like watch whenever it pops up you guys will see it okay so this is what the monitor looks like so it basically just has the video from my camera what's usually on my screen onto this computer super super big so that way I can see everything that's going on so it just has everything really big on the screen whenever I set up my camera back on my ring light I will show you guys what it looks like from a video on my phone just to show you guys what it actually looks like with the whole setup. So when I'm sitting in my desk, this is what the whole setup looks like. I have the three soft lights and then the ring light in the middle with my monitor off to the side. My camera, this so this ring light also doubles as a um, tripod because right there, there's like a little screw that I can put my camera on. As far as cameras go, I use the Canon G7X Mark II. This is technically like a vlogging camera but it's also really good for sit downs. It's really, really good for beginners, which is why I got it, because you can use it for multiple things. Um, I also really like that it does have a flip screen for, um, like it's like a little screen that you can see yourself as you're recording, so you always know if you're in focus and all that good stuff. So whenever I'm filming, I can just flip up that screen, but it is kind of small for sit down videos, so that's how I was doing it for a really long time, but now I have that monitor, and I use that for um, like up close shots and that way it's, it's a lot easier whenever I'm doing makeup because I can see myself a lot better without having a mirror covering my um, frame. Best brand for lighting is, I would say newer. Newer is um, just a brand that's, oh. Newer is just a brand for lighting on Amazon. So newer is the brand of my ring light. It is not the brand of my soft lights and they like i said they're good but they're not like i wouldn't recommend them to anyone else i just bought them and these, those were the first lights that i got for starting i would recommend to just get the ring light because it doubles as a tripod and as a light um and it comes with a cute little case that it protects it so you can carry it with you especially if you're a freelance artist it will save your life so um, and it does adjust like height wise it can get pretty tall and you can adjust how much like you want it to move and bend um, back and forth and it comes with different it comes with like an orange cover for it too for like different photography reasons I think that's pretty much it also ignore that my monitor is on books because I was supposed to return those to school and I never did and now they're holding up my monitor so just ignore that. So overall, I would recommend to get the fabric from Joann's or Walmart or anything like that and get two yards because it's like the perfect size. Um, and then if you want the backdrop stand, you can get that. If you're beginning out, I would just use a wall and then just get any desk. You can use literally anything if you even want a desk. As far as lighting goes, I wouldn't start out with these three lights right here. I would just get the ring light because you can use it as a tripod or, you know, just as a light, it's completely up to you. The monitor is also not a necessity, but that's just, it's good to have for sit down videos because you can see yourself way better and it, um, you can always tell like if you're in focus and all that good stuff. Okay, so really quick, this is what it looks like when I'm sitting down. So I have my desk right here, my camera's plugged in right there, my monitor's over here, and then I have all of my lights. Um, I mean, back there is my kitchen, you don't even worry about any of that. But, so this is what it looks like, um, and then the backdrop, the reason why I like having this monitor here is just because I can see, like, oh, let me do this side, I can see how far um, my backdrop is, because a lot of times, if you notice in my old videos, my backdrop will be like that, and I have no idea because the little screen is so small. This is the screen that shows. Um, and it does flip so i really like that about this camera but that is what my setup looks like and yeah okay so really quick i'm going to tell you guys about the prices of products that i got so for the backdrop stand i paid 37 dollars for it like i said you don't need it you can honestly like diy yourself one I'm just a spoiled brat and my boyfriend bought it for me. He bought pretty much all of this stuff for me. So yeah, um, you can use this. Also, the fabric, it's a good alternative. I wouldn't recommend buying 
the ones off of Amazon just because I've done that I've made that mistake um, they come in they're a lot smaller and I ordered one that was supposed to be like pink glitter like it was like just like this background but it was pink and when it came in it looked like the rocks from the bottom of a fish tank and I was like no plus these are super super easy to store you guys saw that I usually keep them like on the hanger I also learned that from Desi um, it's super super easy to store I keep them right there or I keep them in my closet or the coat closet or just literally wherever they're so small um, and there's so many options like literally any fabric you want like any kind of texture any kind of like literally anything you can find at Joann's and I think I bought three of them for like a hundred bucks which sounds like a lot but it's gonna be way cheaper for the quality in the long run also you don't have to have a backdrop like I said you can use like my and I think it was like my first or second video I literally hung a gray blanket on my backdrop stand instead of having this backdrop just because I was like I need something but I didn't have any fabric or anything like that so I just used a blanket so you can do that or you can just use a white wall like behind this is a white wall so I mean a gray wall a gray wall so I could use that or you can literally use whatever it's completely up to you it's your aesthetic your your vibes how whatever you want to really on your channel next I paid $140 for the soft lights the three um, like I said, you can get those. They're nice to have, but they're not a necessity, especially if you're just starting out. Brand-wise, those are light dough, but I would stick to the brand newer for pretty much any lighting purposes because they, they're so much more vibrant and so much more like sturdy and like they're just good quality, but they're not crazy expensive. For example, <clears throat> I paid $95 for my ring light and this ring light outdoes all three of those lights without a doubt plus i didn't like i have a tripod but i didn't have to buy one because i have it on here so you don't even really like you don't need a tripod you don't need these other lights if you just have your ring light and a desk you're good to go like you don't you don't even need anything else um you can also start recording on your phone that's how i started my first like three videos i think or four videos or something like that were on my iphone this desk is just from Walmart. I paid like 40 bucks for it. I actually bought it for my boyfriend, but he didn't use it. So I took it back and was like, I'm gonna use it for my setup. And that monitor, I also took that from my brother-in-law. He didn't notice for like a week, but then he got mad that I had it. So I don't know, but he still hasn't taken it back. So I'm gonna keep it until he does. But anyways, the monitor, he said it's like stupid expensive, but I honestly don't even want one that big. Like I wish it was smaller. I just used it because it was in my house and it wasn't being used. So I just plugged it in and there you go. Um, but yeah, this is just my little beginner setup. I don't have anything crazy. I don't have like anything stupid expensive. I don't have the light in the back. I don't have the boards on the side. I don't have all of that stuff. I do plan to upgrade everything eventually, but right now this works for me. Like I have no reason to upgrade anything. I have no reason to spend more money. I have no reason, you know, to do all that extra stuff. Really, all you need is a camera or your phone, a ring light or even natural light and somewhere to sit but anyways this is my little beginner setup um just to show you guys kind of what i use and why i use it what's worth it and what's not um this canon g7x i highly recommend it especially if you're starting out because you don't want to spend a lot of money on a dslr and you end up vlogging and not being able to hold it or you know you want to do sit down videos but it's not exactly what you're looking for like this canon camera does everything that i need it to also a tip is to buy a refurbished one. A refurbished camera is going to be cheaper because that basically means that something broke on it and then they fixed it, which I know a lot of people are like, it's never the same, da 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 da, but for getting started, saving that two to three hundred dollars is going to be worth it. Mine is refurbished and I've been using it for like a year and a half, two years, something like that, and it works perfect. Like it's never been damaged, like nothing is wrong with it and I absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend looking into getting a refurbished one. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little setup.
and hopefully one day I'll make another one of these and everything will be updated and upgraded and just so much better. But for beginners, this works perfectly fine. And yeah, so see you guys in my next video.